Welcome valued viewers. It's Tuesday because yesterday was a bank holiday, yada yada yada. We'll go straight into it. Recap of last week's sales with pictures and then as we get to the end of last week there will be the stuff today that was part of last week's sales and then we'll have the stuff that are part of this week's sales going out today as well and that'll be counted next week. So pictures you've probably seen in the last video for the first few anyway um, it seems to me I'm doing most of my um, sales over the weekend and then a few here and there and then a few more I did have a sale day under £10 uh, during the week but no zero sales day not this week anyway um, so Xbox One power supply for 1995 vintage Playmobil for £7.19 that was on rec uh, on auction uh, four, nine, sorry, four forks from Viners £13.20 these are all including postage I'm just reading it off the screen including postages here um, just for turnovers sake because I'm doing the turnover here um, Finepix A820 camera £25.69 um, Tommy Tippy £9.17 I think that was the day I did under £10 um, PlayStation 2 bundle with two controllers and ten games. Um, no, sorry, Dual Shock 2 controller, not two controllers. $73.99, which, um, considering the games cost me 40 pence each, I thought that was a deal, really. Um, that was the PlayStation I bought Easter weekend as part of a bundle for £20 with a Now TV. So. The games cost me 40 pence each. The PlayStation cost me, I don't know, 15. So under 20 for the for the hardware that was being sold. Not 73.99. Please with that. Um, HP Inc. There we go. 14.95 delivered. Trivial Pursuit 9 pound 19. Airam GTEC Airam battery which I did show you last week and I said they were fast movers that's gone for £18.99 um, Vintage Philips Infrafil I think I got this was Easter weekend 2019 delivered um, it's just a red heat lamp I actually saw that the model before this that's very uh, uncommon in this country but has a sort of nice grill work at the front to stop you touching the bulb I think it was really there for pets and things and a nice chrome finish people are changing them into clocks and they're going for like a hundred if you ever see one it's it's got a sort of chrome guard on it very similar looking but a lot more money so watch out for them um, and then we're going into what's going out today Pro Sound 200 power amp that I listed, I think it was the beginning of last week, um, 48.98 delivered. So it's like 38.99 plus £10, £9.99. Um, guitar Hero Live, the cheapest Guitar Hero Live I've ever sold in my entire life. Um, it's a Guitar Hero product, new in the box under a tenner <laughs> what can you say about that I don't think it was a popular game or rather if it was popular it was very cheap so that's um, 13.95 delivered and as you can see it's going to go Hermes because it's quite a long box um, every every it's going to go every it just under two kilos so it actually will only cost me uh, about four pounds or so to post so that's not too bad um, I've got two more available I've sold two now out of the four I've had uh, I'll put that back on the floor so that I can get the next one Kenwood high speed juice separator this is the one I sold a few weeks back it was sent back didn't fit his machine but luckily it accepted the fact that it was his fault and he put the right item down 
as um, the return and paid for the postage so that was nice anyway I've sold it again I did reduce it considerably this time because I, I just don't want it back no matter what quite honestly I've had, I've had it with this so I sold it for 15 instead of 23 and six pound postage because it's a big fat chunk it's so it goes medium six pound is, is the actual postage um then there was those oh no some more knives and, yeah, well they're not knives and forks actually they're spoons um two tablespoons and a teaspoon and six soup spoons she ordered these at first and then she uh, messaged me saying could i order some more um one of the other sets the soup spoons but uh, can you do me a deal combining them well i'd already sent offers out on this so i couldn't so what i said to her was um what i will do is you pay this three pound sixty it's £4.20 postage on this one. You pay another £2.10 postage because it's combined postage. Combined, it gives a 50% discount. She really wanted, and let's face it, the two of them together is a couple of hundred grams, you know what I mean? Maybe 300. Um, and obviously they're going to go in the same box. So I said to her, I'll give you an extra discount on top of the discount I was going to give you. So instead of it being nine pound and 15 pound i was going to offer her a 12 and then she accepted nine pound 80 and then i charged six pound odd postage because it was automatic so it came to 24 pound 20 which is the equivalent of um eight pound for these and 12 pound for these and don't forget i got all my money back on the first set that i saw last week uh, and a profit so yeah I'm about 30 pound up on those now um, and I've got four different varieties like I've got like four knives uh, dinner knives four um, smaller knives and some dessert spoons six dessert spoons and one other thing I can't remember what it was anyway so Technically, if I'd sold all those as well, I could be £60 profit on that £6.50. So, very nice. Next, a Dell power supply. That's the plug lead. That's the power lead. And it's um, however many watts it says it is. Oh, it says it in the 90 watts. It says it in the title on, on the screen. 90 watts, £10.85. That is the end of the week's sales um, 15 sales which isn't very good and as I say there was a day where I only sold one item it was under 10 pounds but it was much better turnover than last week oh, I was busy I sold uh, no it wasn't that busy I think it was was it 20 items and it was only 210 this week it was 331 so it's getting back to where somewhere near what i'd like it to be in the 500 to 600 range um i've decided to start listing a lot more smaller items again mainly because i don't like these days where i'm only doing 10 pounds or even days where i'm not making anything the single i had a i didn't sell anything on sunday nothing not a thing um so yeah i need more than 200 like 50 items on um i'm not going to go back to a um, intermediate shop i will just pay the extra up to the point where an intermediate shop is necessary to make it you know financially viable um so i will just pay the extras i mean you could basically double the price of the shop double the amount of stock on it and you're still paying less than the intermediate shop now and you don't get your discounts anymore with the intermediate shop for the 12 pounds worth of discounts on promotions and things it used to be that i would promote enough that they just give you a rebate every month out of the 12 pound out of the shop price and they realized they were doing that to everyone so there's no point having that if you get rid of it you make 12 pound more profit 
makes £10 plus VAT. So they make £10 more profit. Government makes £2 more profit. We make £12 less. So, yeah. Anyway, rant over. What's going out today? Um, you, you've just seen the stuff that I held in my hand. That's all going out today. Um, and then there's a few more things that are this week's sales. Uh, yeah, I'm going to show you this one because I haven't found it yet. It's not on the shelf it's meant to be. There's, I've got two packs of Mario playing cards and um, they hadn't sold. And rather than when I put all the other stuff on auction, I put it all in a box so that I knew where it was for when the auction finished. Anyway, this one didn't do that because it was the only thing I put on auction for Sunday, finishing this Sunday. And it sold 4 99 which is the starting price. Luckily, they only cost me 49p, so that's something. But yeah, I've been trying to get like £25 all year. Not a chance. I mean, somebody else managed to get one for that. Not me. No, man, a new one sealed. <laughs> but they're not able to sell. And maybe it's because I won't pay the 15% um, promotion fees that they want in that sort of field. It's beyond ridiculous how much promotion they want. And that's not click-through promotion. That's, you know, anybody who buys it has to pay that. I'm not paying it. I won't do it. Simple as that. If it doesn't sell at 2% promoted, it's not going to sell as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, so I got 4 99 um, can't find it so what I will do is I'll print out all the postage I'll do it as though it's posted and then I'll find it later on and it will hopefully go in before I mean the postage label will be before midnight but it'll be in post before the morning because it just goes large letter go in the post box uh, that's a picture of it did I put a picture up? I'll edit this bit out if uh, I did put a, I'll show you a picture of it earlier Right, and then there's Evil Dead Trilogy. Um, it's a oh, bit of foam, bit of filler to hold them steady. Three DVDs, actually a fourth DVD with um, uh, special events and features and all that. Yeah, quite nice. I bought this Easter weekend for two pounds, and it's sold for. Uh, 729 plus postage because it's thick it's going for 1149 yeah 350 media price so that's not too bad um, and then original Kodak ink this is just sold 799 delivered I was hoping for a tenner on it but 799 is 799 isn't it um, again this cost me 50p so um, after fees and all that, I probably make two pound on it, if that really, out of the seven ninety nine, four pound of it. After the fees, three pound postage, but the fees on eight pound is now about eight, about pound sixty, maybe even a pound ninety. So we'll call it a straightforward two pound, including the envelope. Um, and then there's delivery. Because it's over an inch thick, it's going to be three pounds. So <laughs> that doesn't leave me a lot. Um, so that's five out of the eight. That leaves me three pounds. Cost me per, uh, 50p, so it's two pound 50 profit. Oh, and I didn't show you this. I've just overlooked him. Um, Blippy, six pound plus postage at four pound 20 this time. So get, get me fees back on the postage, um, which leaves me uh, I think it cost me a pound um, at a car boot, so a five a profit on that. So although I've turned over up to now this week, uh, where is it? It's about thirty-five pounds because Sunday I didn't sell anything. I sold those yesterday. Um, hopefully, I'll sell some stuff today. Right, I'm going to clear this lot. And then I'll show you what I bought over the last week. Well, I'm, when I say clear this lot, I mean wrap it and send it out. And then like several, several hours later, as you know, um, we'll be back 
under these lights again for a, a recap again see in a bit well you just wait, keep watching it'll come okay I'm back it's evening I've been looking for that um, deck of cards can't find it I've um, gone through about half my boxes I thought I've got to go and do some video because otherwise it'll get to the point where it's like Wednesday before I get the things done that I bought on Sunday and um, then I'll have to edit in it. It'll be Sunday before you get to see it. Um, I'd rather put it out while it's current um, and then obviously the date makes more sense for me when I look back at it in the, in the future which is the main reason for doing this in the first place. Right so Sunday's pickups. Um, it was a nice day. Um, I got there, I would say, while in North Cave, I got there while it was still setting up. And I, well, just suffice to say, I'm going to go through, uh, there's quite a lot of stuff, so I'm going to go through it quickly. But um, I haggled on everything. I haggled on everything on in Hull as well. Not everything, but, you know, I tried to get a good bargain, so that's why I'm doing it um, and so I'm not going to go for huge explanations I'm just going to hold the stuff up and tell you the price because it's getting on and um, yeah I'm a bit frazzled quite honestly from not finding that um, deck of cards I've printed the label so as soon as I find it it's down the post box so fingers crossed I find it before midnight otherwise I'll start again about seven in the morning right first things first North Cave Codex, um, Space Marines book, one pound, should sell for ten pounds uh, with a five pound profit. Um, yeah, very nice, cheap, easy. Um, hammer tripod, four pounds. I've got one just the same as this. It's uh, was my main tripod for taking photographs, but this is the stand that's just on the desk at the moment uh, to, for taking video, but. One of the legs was stuck and the this bit here was broken. So I taped it up and now it's one leg sticks out all the time. Not as convenient as getting a new one for four pounds. And I say new, it's hardly used. It's in its case, it's in its um, zip up bag. So yeah. Right, um, a new in the box uh, compact glass electronic scale. I know I could do with one, but I actually have one. <laughs> it's a different brand, but it does the same thing. Um, and that was £2.50. Down from £3 on a haggle. Um, two Canon inks, colour, both of them colour, both of them 50 pence from the charity stall. Uh, let's put that to the side. Put that down, down to the side. Owl energy monitor. I've sold, I sold three of these last year, and every single one went up in price because of the, you know, cost of electricity going through the roof. People wanted to know the official real figures that they were getting and how much they were paying. You can program this with the price, um, and you don't need to plug it in, so it runs on batteries. And uh, that was two pounds and we're talking 50 i think last one i saw was over 60. however they have come down in price as the electricity has been is well i mean the guaranteed by the government at the moment but that's um reducing as well okay av cable and actually there's a microphone there as well but it was an av cable for 25p on the same stall as 25p for them scissors um and actually once I got talking to the guy, um, they sold me some other stuff as well. Um, some wallpaper, three rolls of wallpaper, 50 pence each. I won't show you, it's just, it's that thick, fluffy wallpaper, you know, with the like sort of fluffiness to it, which will be used for wrapping. It's not good quality wallpaper, but it's very thick. Um, so that was three for £1.50. I got some. 
back boxes for double sockets and one with a double socket on. Um, four back boxes and one's a socket. So I can put that socket and that back box where the switches, where the switchless sockets are in my uh, back bedroom. Uh, next was four cameras for five pounds. Um, I'll show you them. That was a really good deal. I've got to say, I was very impressed with myself there. So I held them up to her and she says, how many have you got? And I said, four. And she said, how about a fiver? And I'm like, okay. Didn't argue. <laughs> Olympus 820mu, 8.1 megapixels. Um, I don't know whether it works. I haven't got to battery. So I'll probably sell it as spares and repair. No battery. If the 700 one that I've got the battery fits then I'll test it if not then fair enough um, I've got a Camedia D390 I basically just fished out all the good brands out of this bag full she had she had a lot of crap as well but um, clean very worn looking uh, camera slightly front the usual these are quite good if they're working I don't know whether this is working I don't really care because it's got a memory card in it and it's a 16 megabyte XD card so there you go 15 quid's worth maybe 12 um, Olympus Comedia C40 Zoom Del Sol another nice one um, with another memory card M1 gigabyte Sorry, two gigabyte Olympus. People are now starting to try and get more than thirty pound for these, so that could be a, a big spinner, a money spinner. That's the fourth, third, and the fourth one was a Fujifilm Finepix twenty six hundred Z. There you go, and this is working lovely, except the door has got a crack in it the battery door and so it's also got a little bit missing there which is the bit that holds the battery door nice and firm so it flexes about when the batteries are in it still runs but at any one point the battery could just fall out so I'm not sure whether you call it with issues needs a bit of tape or spares and repair one thing I do know though is I won't be selling it with the memory card that comes with it. Um, this is a 64 megabyte memory card, smart media. That will go to somebody, preferably somebody with a synthesizer, a Korg or a Roland, that's willing to pay an extra fiver on top of the people who are buying for, card, uh, for cameras. So maybe 20 quid instead of 15 for that one. Oh, and a nice case for that one as well. Um, it says Fujifilm on it. I don't know whether it's leather or pleather. Um, I think it might be real leather. It's hard to say. Um, it's so well made that and soft and edged nicely. Belt hook. So I might sell that separately. I don't know. Um, or it might just be an interesting way to get people to buy things the ones that are the one right Breville hot cup £2.50 started opening it realised it was new in the box just give her the money <laughs> yeah that was from the same person as the uh, scale for £2.50 that was £3 brand new in the box this one's brand new in the box can't go wrong uh, I'll put that there because otherwise I'll just have no room uh, the last thing is it the last thing? yeah last thing at North Cave was this from the same lady as the cameras Guitar Hero Legends of Rock Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock for Playstation 3 now I have got a Playstation 3 so I have to test this I will have to test this over and over and over 
and the beauty of this is it's in really good condition. Uh, I'll show you. There we go. How about that? Hardly used, really shiny, hardly a scratch on it. If they are, they're very, very small. The disc is really good condition. I don't think that's been out. There's a dongle, there's a neck obviously. Um, in maybe played a few times condition. And yeah, so the outer, outer sleeve does it no justice, but the inner is excellent. And I'll be looking for a lot of money on this. I'm tempted to go 100 plus, but I'm not sure whether people will pay. Um, it's all there though, that's the thing. People pay £20 for the dongle, they pay £50 for a good guitar. This one's in really good condition. Um, and then there's the game on top, in the box. With the, oh God, it's full of dirt there. Just caught that from the ceiling. And it's got um, a couple of little catches on the corners, here and there, but yeah, nice. Um, and that was 12 pounds, uh, down from 15. So, yeah, not bad at all. Right, hull, um, it's all still here, around me and around my feet. So we'll see how we can get on with these things. TP-Link, I've got two of them for a fiver each. It wasn't budging on the price, which is fine. Um, he did have a third one, but it was a TP-Link as well. But it wasn't the matching. And I thought about it and I thought, no, that's the one that's been opened and used. He said these haven't been used. If they have been used at all, they might need a reset. But he said everything's good. And actually I opened this one had a look it's all in its plastic bag it's got an instruction manual in there that's never been opened yeah very pleased five pound each sell for i don't know 17 to 20. um i don't know whether that's delivered or not but even if it was that would be fine uh they're easy to sell four controllers for a fiver, a PS3 one without a thumbstick there. Actually, both of them are damaged, but that's okay because there's a PS2 there, a genuine PS2 with a damaged wire, and I'll just take the thumbsticks off that and stick it on there. Or, you know, I've got plenty of like various parts and spares. The wire is damaged on that one though, which might mean. Um, that I use the case and the thumbsticks and the, the buttons on a different one. Um, I do have a silver one with all, <laughs> it's quite a bit damaged inside and it's not working. I cleaned it, couldn't get it working. Um, and quite honestly, it's just not worth messing like that. So it might be just a matter of changing the casing over uh, and the electronics and swapping the wire which can be done, it's very fiddly, but it can be done. Then I've got two uh, third party ones there, unbranded, basically look the same as that. So those four were a fiver. Um, I was trying to go for multiple buy quick and move on. So that was that. Five cameras off another guy I held up this camera on his store and I said, how much is this? And he said, a pound. And I said, oh, I'll have that then. And he says, oh, do you want the other cameras as well? And I'm like, how much are they? And he's like, no, you can have them. <laughs> I'm like, okay. So he insisted on fishing round and finding all the cameras. So first of all, it was this one that I wanted for a pound. It's a Fujifilm 8.1 megapixels. Um, was it me put these batteries in? Yes, I put these batteries in and it turns on, but it doesn't turn on with the on button. They're a bit corroded and actually when you look at it, the buttons around the top are all corroded. It turns on, it's not doing it now. There we are. 
it turns on with the green arrow but which means you can look at the pictures except you can't look at the pictures there aren't any and it's all in Japanese and yeah so that's duff really I think it's a spares and repair on my pile no big deal there's a 35 millimeter camera in its sealed box which uh, says it needs a obviously it needs a film it doesn't have a film in it um, it's just a standard new 35 millimeter Lomo camera plus Tron um, Ronnie Flex this is very Lomo um, this is basically what you would call crap <laughs> um, designed to make it look nice from a distance and although it might work it's shit it's as simple as that um, I don't know how you get the back open there's probably a button oh you probably pull that there's a re rewind thing so yeah it's basically um, f focus free film free but would take photographs that's about it's about as technical as this one but this is in a nice form factor and this was meant to look like it's an SLR but it's not it's shite um, then there's this one Olympus Trip MD3 which is another one I've actually put batteries in this and it's working little light on the back there to show it's ready to take uh, flashes but it's not flashing oh it's flashing now it's probably because it was looking at the light before like that no, it don't flash when you're doing that and the, the, the little lights not come on yet that is on now see that light is coming on yeah I think I think I can sell that as a going concern now I'll, I'll film test it and then a Practica SK320 focus free see these dark spots here and that light there that's meant for focusing autofocus but when they say focus free they mean it's a fixed lens and it doesn't focus at all um, I haven't got batteries in this there is some batteries in it but they're dead obviously um, no, I won't mess with it now it might work and it might not uh, but it cost me nothing so there you go uh, next uh, I got three things off the same stall actually and we had a bit of banter because I've known these guys for a while um, every time I go to the stall everyone else he picks things up and he goes oh two pound two pound two pound I go to the stall I pick out what I like out of the clearance boxes I might add that these people are just picking out bits of old crap and going oh he goes oh, two pound here two pound there two pound there pound for that one I get there I fish around because I know what I'm looking for and he goes six pound I'm like just it come out the clearance boxes mate I, I'm not spending my time doing all the finding the good stuff for myself so that you can make extra money by knowing that I'm buying the good stuff um, anyway after a bit of a back and forward he took it off to the guy who actually owns the stall rather than the guy who was clearancing it um, and we came back and uh, he said to me this would be I saw this one in the clearance um, bins and this would be four pounds I saw this one Roberts uh, Chronologic 6 um, there's a number somewhere 9971 um, and I think he wanted four for that which would have been eight and then this one I found in the clearance as well it was in a box just a little brown box like that but it's um, it's a Dymo if you go like that I push that button in there it cuts it you know the old uh, embossing Dymo there's no electronics in this one 
Pizza Retro, there you go. Um, and there's it, that's got a black um, tape in it, and there's four other tapes there. And there's this, and he wanted two pounds for that, so that's like ten pounds for the four items, for the three items. Anyway, we uh, we negotiated. As I said to him, I'm doing all my labour and using my expertise. The reason I do that is so that you don't charge me a fortune. I can go and say how much is the stuff in the boxes and you say, oh, it varies. But whenever I pick it out, it's loads more than when everybody else picks it out. Anyway, we came to a deal in the end for £6, which was £3 for that, so that's a pound off. £2 for that because I didn't know whether it's going to work or not. So, I still don't actually. Um, and if it does work, it's great. And if it doesn't work, it's in the bin. And that's, you can't sell one of these as a retro diary unless it works. This works fine. Um, that was a pound. What he doesn't know is this is worth 20 quid. This is worth more than the Roberts radio because it's vintage and yeah one sold recently for £20. I knew that because I've been looking at the electronic versions of the Dymos and these keep coming up. This is a £24 item if it works properly. Um, I'm not sure what batteries it runs on. And I don't know whether I've... Okay, do I look it up? It's quite nice looking. It's quite a big thing. And it's got a 64KB memory. Wow. One thing I don't know is whether it's turning on or not because the batteries are flat. So I'll have to get some batteries for it. It's... So there's three batteries that are needed for that and they're two or three twos so at least it's not too expensive a couple of quids worth of batteries uh, there's a bit of cardboard there that's meant to hold three batteries in and they're gone as well so with its instructions if it works 20 odd quid if it doesn't work straight in the bin so we'll see about that and uh, but my money's safe because of that embosser. And of course this. So next was a gold mark infrared lamp. This is very like those Philips ones that I told you about earlier in the video. Um, but they're the nice Philips, nice design. This one's plastic with a plastic base, but it's got a nice big red lamp. But it only does 100 watts. I think the Philips is 150. It could be even 180. What, one thing I do know is that once I've slipped my uh, me key through the plastic tape that looked old, and it was old, new in the box. So that's really nice. Um, let's do it that way. New in the box. I'm not sure what these are going for, but it's got to be worth more than the £2 I paid for it. BT phone set. It's not a triple. It's a twin. It's a 760 twin. This is one of these people who, that's what they do. They take the old phone out, they put it in the new box. They take the new phone out of the box, put it on like a, you know, install the new phone, put the old phone in the new box and try to sell it as though it was a new phone. Good job I opened it, isn't it? Um, but I only paid £2 for it once I found out that. It is a twin. Um, one of them's very corroded. Not that one. This one. It's not some not it's not very corroded, but the, the batteries have definitely leaked. You see what I mean? Um, which is probably why they bought a new phone. So it probably works fine, just needs a right good clean. Get some vinegar on it, we'll see how it goes. Either way, it's got power supplies that can sell even if the phones don't work. Can't guarantee that the bases work, the phones work, 
all the power supplies work, but they don't all go wrong at the same time, even if something did go wrong. Right, and then this is what I overpaid for, I think. Um, I, I overpaid at the time, but when I look at, back at it, I'll just move this out of the way, the Roberts, I think I'll be okay. Um, I paid a tenner for this, I was just a bit too enthusiastic. Um, I saw this to start with, and I thought, oh, there's some Lego in the bottom of the bag. It turns out there isn't. This is damp actually, it needs drying out. Um, I'm trying to dry it out slowly so the pages don't stick together, because I'm sure I can sell this. It's the um, Harry Potter Hogwarts instruction, Wizarding World instruction manual on how to how to build it. It's a bit worse for wear, and it's a bit uh, wet, damp. But I'll fix that, it'll dry out. And there's also a Batman ruler one. And Lego book of uh, the movies. This was all in the same bag and it was in a box actually. I'm like digging through it and he said like, you can have the whole lot for a tenner. And I'm like, I was gonna just fish out the bits I wanted, but then I thought to myself, it's actually not a bad deal. So, um, Lego Chima booklets, um, Lego Ninjago booklets. Um, I don't know what that one is. I haven't had a close look. SpongeBob booklet. Uh, I think it's missing its cover though. SpongeBob. Um, you see, a lot of stuff like this is where it's sticky together and it's wet and it's bent. That's just a bin one, even if it's uh, a wanted one. There's the SpongeBob cover. So then there was three. Uh, Lego movies, videos, but that's not really what I was after. I got this, which is only a few quid, um, a couple of quid to me if I normally, I mean I've bought loads of those recently, but then there was this, this lot of characters, but you get to see down the bottom of those, I'll, I'll hold some of them up and then you get the idea. Game to life characters to go on the portal, and actually that portal is a bit uh, old for them. We've got uh, some of the newest ones. Skylanders Imaginators. These are Skylanders Imaginators with the angular bases. So there's that one. So that's the Golden Queen. It's only a fiver. Um, this one's uh, Sensei King Pen, another three or four quid one. But there are some more expensive things in there. There's these life crystals, um, magic life crystals or something. These are out of imagination, imaginators, creation crystals, not life crystals, creation crystals. That's a, uh, um, I've got a bundle of those. Uh, I think there's another one somewhere. No, there's just the four. Four creation crystals and a trophy. So there's like, 10 or 12 quid bundle there and then there's all these other characters some of which are for uh, cars for superchargers there's one there that's a superchargers vehicle as well and then we've got um, loads of the uh, the commons as they call them this one with an eyeball this one's a little bit more less common rather it's uh, it's like a football with hands that are made out of bullets. Uh, that one's quite a good one. I did look a few of them up. And there's enough there that I can do a good multi-listing. And I've also, you know I've already got about 30. So what I want 
what I have been wanting to do in the last few months is to have multiple multi listings. So like I've got my video game multi listings that are never going to die now. As and as and when uh, they get a bit low, I can put like another 15, 20 games on it. I've got this to go as a multi listing. I'm buying enough memory cards recently that I'm going to be making multi listings of those so that they within three months I'm always going to have the memory cards so the multi listings live on and that doesn't sound as though it's brilliant but multi listings are absolute catnip to the eBay algorithm absolute catnip because every time you make a sale it promotes everything else on the multi listing and you can always bring one one item down in the multi listing to in price so that it's guaranteed to sell in the next 10 minutes it's as simple as that i mean some of the things that you can sell really quickly if you've got memory cards all you have to do is sell them at 10 percent or 15 percent less than the market going market price and you're guaranteed to sell them immediately i've just sold something immediately i put this on before i started the video and that's why it buzzed and fell off the table there um i've just sold uh, which one is it? Selling. Here we go. Um, I don't like what they've done to the new app where the, the things are at the bottom. Two genuine official Wii wheels. Um, I just took some photos this afternoon. Bubble wrapped them. Took some photographs with the bubble wrap on. Two genuine Wii wheels for twelve ninety nine plus four twenty. And that is, uh, it's probably going going price actually, but. You know, that was good. I've also sold oh, an SR170 from Sony, £16 plus postage. I think they both have gone this afternoon. No, in the last hour. Not bad. So yeah, um, I paid £10 for all that lot with the videos. I don't think they're anything. Um, as I said to you, the Wizarding World, Harry Potter instruction manual for anybody who buys it without an instruction manual it's definitely going to be a um, a decent sale I think um, put that there it's all piling on top of the other pile right a um, couple of other little things uh, five more Frank Meadows Sutcliffe photos so there's one with, um, it's called Boats on Bell Island in Whitby Upper Harbour. And this was made in, uh, it doesn't say, the other one said like 87. So I'm assuming this one's earlier than that, because normally they have a date on them. This is quite nicely made. It's got the uh, certificate on the back to say it's definitely one of his. This one says Memory Lane Photographic Galleries, Fisher Folk. On the back, Hesler Road Hull, quite nicely done. Um, it's definitely Frank Meadows Sullivan and um, Sutcliffe. Then there's this one. I'm not sure what this is called, but it's definitely uh, Frank, Frank Meadows Sutcliffe one. It's um, it's uh, two workmen basically. One's a chimney sweep, and the other one looks like he might be a beekeeper or painter or something sitting on their cat it's just a cat no not a motor cat he was taking photographs from the like mid 1850s so yeah they hadn't been invented then <laughs> this one's um, running repairs people working on their the boats and uh, it says a delightful study of boys playing with a model boat near the boat of fishing cobble was taken at Runswick Bay there you go and this one is a photograph and it says on the back because somebody's written it uh, this scene shows the twin paddle steam tug flying spray of Glasgow moored against the coffee house corner Swing bridge built in 1835 cost 
£10,000. Present day bridge built in 1908. Date approximately 1895, taken from Scotch Head, which is down here. And that's the motor steamer, and there's the swing bridge. Yeah, so that was a fiver for the five of them. They're going on the wall, but I will photograph them and get them listed as well. Uh, right, yes. Hmm. So I spent two pounds on two bags. One there, one there. Fill a bag at a bric a brac stall for two pounds. Actually, I'm what I really wanted were these labels, which would have cost me more than two pounds off a, a previous stall. There's this lot of labels, and they're all the little sticky labels, different colours. These are brilliant for when you're testing games. You've got red for not working or crap box damaged you know stuff like that you've got yellow for working but with like a missing manual or a broken box you've got green for everything's good and you've got blue for high value so it's easy to use these leave them on nobody knows what they mean to you uh, to me you won't see one with a red sticker on on sale and I've got like a hundred years worth this was all two pounds. I've put it all in the one bag because because those bags were splitting. I just put them in the in the decent bag. Um, so a trading card game called Quick Strike Pirates of the Caribbean. Don't know whether it's all there. It needs tech checking. Loads of wedding invitations. Uh, Happy Mother's Day. Yeah. All sorts of stuff in there. On your wedding day cards. They will just be used as backing. Except for maybe that. I might send that out to somebody. Might sell that. You never know. So, that lot cost, uh, I don't know, 50p to a pound on top of what I really wanted. Um. There was a couple of other little bits and pieces in there that I've, uh, I don't know what I've done with them, quite honestly. And then there was this, I'll just take that out because I've already shown you that. A box of Duplo, that's about 650 grams there, uh, for a pound. I said to her, how much do you want for that? And she said, a pound. Can't go wrong, can you? A pound for that lot. Uh, oh. I think from the same place as I got the Duplo, I got this as well, a mini fridge. It's got a red cross on the front and it's got a power supply in the middle. Um, oh, it's missing its shelf. Not a big deal. Um, it's very faded and grayed and sort of gone yellow as you can see. I think it should be that colour and it's actually that colour. Where the sun's been on it and on the top and on the front and then it's been touched up where it's been scratched all the way down i don't know what they've been doing i'm not really concerned i think they might have painted that red mark the the um and then touched it up because they didn't do a very good job no big deal um might just have that in the in the back bedroom when i'm working in the office with my computer Oh, playing video games on my computer, my new computer, which hopefully I'll be setting up. I was intending to do it this week, but um, haven't finished decorating. Um, you know how it is. Things get on top of you, especially when you're looking in every box in your entire inventory for looking for that uh, deck of cards. Uh, anyway, the label's ready, the envelope's ready, it goes into the envelope, it goes in the post as soon as I find it. I'm going to, um, oh, yeah, no. I've got something else to show you as well. On the way back from the car boots. Oh, but that's the end of the whole car boot. That was £46 for the whole car boot. I didn't tell you, the North Cape was 34 That was 46 so that's 79 for the two car boots. Which is, you know, average for me, really. Um, but then I spent some more on the way home.
at the electrical charity shop um, that I go to occasionally, which is uh, can be really good. You know, I've bought that 300 quid system off um, previously. Paid £9.75 for this Sony Blu-ray player. It's got a remote. Um, which one is it? The BDS 1100 Blu-ray. It's got a slight dent in it there, but it's okay. It's, it's not bad. Um, this should fetch 35 to £40. Pounds even not unlocked but I'll see if I can unlock it in fact I'll look it up now I didn't actually look it up at the time S1100 now then I've told you once you've got the uh, the equipment to be unlocking things you need the list so you can look it up I'm not I don't think it is available uh, nope it's not a hackable one Never mind. I'll still test it. I'll still try. You never know. It could be one of those ones that's not on the list. I also got this, 275. These are okay. Nothing special. Sell for about 10 or 11 quid. This is a nice one though. Wild Strawberries. I've sold this one before. It's Marks and Spencer's Resin 3D. Can you see that? It's 3D. Wall plaque for the kitchen, really. Hand painted. Wild Strawberries. I've sold this before. I think I got £12 for it then. So that's what I'll be aiming for this time. Um, and I got these speakers, which are really quite dirty looking. And the grill work, uh, that one's actually not that bad. But the other one, uh, is all frayed. But these are quite a common speaker. I've had these before recently and the boxes were damaged. These are all good. They're a bit dusty, a bit grimy, but they're okay. So, as I said to you, I had the boxes recently and they were all damaged and damp. But I did have the grills off the front of them. So the damaged grills off those can come off and get the fresh, nice, clean grills that I kept off the other one on them and they match and so assuming that these actually sound okay they'll go on for maybe 20 quid they cost me three pounds I think um, 325 for this so that's not bad um, and I paid 40p for a bulb this is the bulb that I was looking for before when I said to you I need one that will produce lots of heat and it's got a thin screw thread there we go and this is the one I need for the uh, lava lamp that didn't work previously because it didn't have the bulb wasn't bright enough this is a uh, I think it's 38 watt halogen produced quite a lot of heat 40 pence Fingers crossed, fingers crossed that'll do the job. Um, and if not, these are actually exactly what you need for those Lumi body clocks. Um, I noticed uh, Ricky selling one at the car boot the other day. I wasn't there, I watched his video. His amazing video that's gone viral. Yeah, he sold a, a Lumi body clock. I don't know whether it had any bulbs in. Uh, no, I'm surprised he sold it because I've sold loads of them and they've all done well and he sold it off to somebody because I don't know because he didn't have a bulb anyway that's the type of bulb they take um, that lot costs with the bulb £17 odd can't go wrong no it can't be that much 9 75 3 two more rolls of wallpaper a pound yeah, and then the wall, the, the uh, so this, and then the textured wallpaper, and then the resin wall plaque, and it, that came to £17.15. So the whole lot was £96.15. Yeah, it's okay, you know. Um, fingers crossed I'll have 
40 pound back on those uh, 20 pound back on this and fingers crossed 25 pound on that 40 pound on that um, I'm really not sure about the phone system because it's an older one it's not the one that was in this it's a 7610 twin I haven't got a clue really um, this scale probably only 10 or 15 um, the owl that could be 40 or 50 that's definitely a tenner what else was there that's new in the box there was something else wasn't there uh, Breville Breville new in the box could be as much as 30 probably more like 25 plus postage it's quite heavy actually it could be six pound postage easily not even be eight and then I've got all them figures um, there's a few couple of decent ones in there I don't know what the values are um, a lot of good stuff. I'll uh, step to the side, do some maths. Turnover, eBay fees, P and P, uh, any extra costs, purchase prices, and profit margin. There you go. And fingers crossed, they'll all come up at the right time. Um, brilliant. That's it. Uh, thanks for uh, sticking with watching. If you have watched to the end. Um, I would appreciate it if you'd leave a like on the way out and um, watch one of these other videos. No, actually, just this one. This one, if you haven't seen it, is uh, well worth watching. And, um, yeah, I'm sure you're all subscribed. The people who get to this point in the video are probably all subscribed. And if you're not, you've committed yourself by watching 40 odd minutes worth. You might as well subscribe. <laughs>